प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट ऑन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू टाइम हिस्ट्री एनालिसिस ऑफ जी प्लस वन बिल्डिंग बाई यूजिंग ई टैप सॉफ्टवेयर सो आई वॉज ऑलरेडी डन माई पुश और एनालिसिस फॉर दिस रेस्पेक्टेड जी प्लस वन बिल्डिंग इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई विल प्रोवाइड यू दट रेस्पेक्टेड वीडियो लिंक इन अब कॉटलिंग एंड बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस रेस्पेक्टेड वीडियो प्लीज वॉच दट वीडियो So after modeling process completed, analysis process completed, we need to do the time history analysis case for determining the earthquake loading condition intensities. So for that, initially we need to define the time history cases. So go to define option. So click on here functions. So in this we need to consider the time history function. So initially we need to uh, select this respected choose from uh, file option. Why? Because we need to import that respected time history data from the respected uh, updated values. So here I am adding the time history values data as per the function defined in software itself. So here I am selecting it as function from file. So click on add a new function here. So it will open your respected options here like this. So we need to give the function name. So initially I am taking it as time history analysis THA case. So after that, we have to choose the file from this respective time history case. So for that, click on browse option here. So in this, we need to select the program files. So select here as computer science structure. Select here as ETAPS 2016. So in this, it will be consisting of your respected values of time history functions uh, folder here like this. Select this respected folder. So in this, we need to select the El Centro file data. So this is important file for doing the time history analysis case. So select this. So this is the graph which is shown for this respected time history analysis case as per the time history functions considerations. So here initially we need to click on OK option. So it will create your L Centro file data here like this. So you can uh, select this option, click on delete option, again click on delete option. Okay. So you can modify this respected name by considering the function name. Let's just I am taking it as time history analysis THA. Let us take click on OK. So after defining this respected time history case, we need to add the load cases which is related to the x direction time history and y direction time history why because we are taking the load cases in x direction for the seismic loading condition and y direction for the seismic loading condition so go to define option so click on uh, select your load cases option here initially so click on add new case initially so in this we need to select the loading type name so just i'm taking it as time history analysis so here i'm considering the time history analysis which is in x condition system so after that we have to select the time history case here like this so after that we have to select the uh, type load function so select add here so select your respective load case which is related to earthquake load x condition system with the function uh, as time history l centro data which is of time history analysis case click on add option so after that we have to delete this respected intensity dead load click on ok so after that in the same process we need to add the time history analysis in y direction condition select add new function Select here as time history analysis in y direction condition. Select the loading type as time history in the same process. So here I am selecting it as a, a loading case which is related to earthquake load which is in y condition system. So select the pattern factor as 1. Click on add here. So select. So after that we have to select this respected OK option. So it will define your respected time history cases here like this. So after that click on OK. Now we have to go to analyze option. Go to set load cases to run. So initially we need to uh, deselect all the load cases except the seismic loading condition, dead loading condition. Uh, so initially just I am selecting uh, a push over x direction, do not run option, do not run option. So here I am selecting time history analysis x, time history analysis y, click on run now option. Okay. So now we can see the time history analysis is going for this respective G plus 1 building structure here. So after analysis process completed, the deflection value will be shown here like this. So select the deflection start animation option and now we can see the deflection diagram will be shown for this respected axis of x direction condition. So now initially we need to select the display option. Now initially I will show you that respected values for the time history analysis case as per the tables. So click on show tables option. Select the analysis results here. Select the time history function. Select the time history uh, or else you can select the results which are related to the displacement values. As per the displacement point of view, just I am selecting story drift, joint drift here. Again, I am selecting it as story drift. Select here. Click on OK. So, it will show your respected intensity of your respected values of time history analysis case results as per the considerations of the loading cases. So, this is the time history maximum, time history minimum. Now, we have to display the graph which is related to the time history plots. So, go to display option. Select here plot functions here. So this is the time history analysis graph which is related to your respected base year versus time period due to the presence of earthquake load 
and uh, time is channels is in x direction condition select here as earth quick load which is in y direction condition so this is the graph which is showing for the time is analysis case y direction system and this is the graph you can show that respected value of intensity for time period versus base shear in x direction system due to the presence of the time history case okay so this is the complete process of time history analysis of g plus one building by using etap software if you have any queries about this respected video please text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you